Hey guys, Nutty Buckeye back. It's been a bit. Happy to be here though. So I'm doing my September review and the item I wanted to do an, a review on was my McFarlane Toys Spawn Line Haunt action figure. I uh, saw it and was able to get a really good deal on it from the uh, Target collector spot. I've been eyeing it for a while and uh, saw it and I just I felt like I had to get it and uh, the one I, I saw was a little damaged and they were able to offer me a really good deal on it so I felt like I had to take it home with me but um, I'm really happy to have it in my collection and uh, I figured I had to do a review on the, the item I, I love the McFarlane designs and styles the only line from McFarlane I'm not picking up so far is the uh, the Warhammer line the Warhammer 40,000 I just uh, so far just saw it really an interest in that. I paint the miniatures, but no desire really for the the larger action figures for that. But I've got all the Dune line. I've got the entire Batman, the Batman movie stuff. Uh, I've got other action figures from the DC multiverse. Um, a lot of the McFarlane stuff is just fantastic. But the Haunt stuff, I just had to pick up. I loved the book when it came out. A lot multitude of stars just worked on it. Robert Kirkman, um, Todd McFarlane, of course. Um, you had Ryan Otley doing a lot of the artwork. Uh, occasionally, Greg Capullo would do work on it. It was a shame when both Kirkman and McFarlane they had to like, kind of like leave the book, and Ryan Otley left the book because when that happened, the new creative team it just kind of, kind of made the character kind of fizzle out, and now he's just more of a side character and shows up once in a blue moon in Spawn and he's not as used as he once was and I, I really enjoyed the Haunt character I thought he was a cool concept he's been around for what I think about 13, 14 years I think he came out in uh, 20, 20, 2009 um, cool concept if you don't know much about him he is a, uh, a special agent that was murdered and the special agent is a ghost, his, or his ghost came back and took over the body of his brother, who's kind of like a failing priest, and he haunts his brother and he takes over his brother's body to avenge and solve his murder, to find out who was responsible for his murder. And I um, don't want to go into more than that, other than that would be much of a spoiler, but um, he uses ectoplasm and his ghostly form is like ectoplasm and it's it's kind of cool the ectoplasm kind of looks a little bit like spider-man's webbing and some people always say oh it's a little bit like spider-man but i don't know i think it's a cool concept with the like the ghostly manifestation of that that ectoplasm and goo and you'll see some of that with the toy the way the toy comes with accessories but i i really like the concept of the toy i think it's really cool um, I thought they were a great character made by two great artists and creators with both Kirkman um, and McFarlane. And then you got both Otley and uh, Greg Capullo working on it at the times. I mean, Capullo, which is fantastic. But uh, one cute little or neat little story uh, about the two of them meeting, it was at a fan fest event. And um, McFarlane was answering questions. And um, Kirkman was actually asking him questions about uh, just his characters and stuff and McFarlane didn't recognize Kirkman in the audience and one of the panelists leaned over and told McFarlane who it was and Todd's like oh wow I uh, I love your stuff you're a very talented creator with uh, Invincible and The Walking Dead and uh, I'd love to work with you if we ever had a chance to get together and the two of them actually got together, and uh, lo and behold, uh, the creation they came up with was Haunt. And, I mean, it, it had some delays, and Todd, he said that those delays were his fault. But it's it's a great thing that they got together and were able to do it, because it was just a fantastic creation, I thought. Um, I wish they could have kept it going and didn't have to stop. But... Um, all in all, it's, I think it's a great character, a great comic. Um, hopefully this toy ends up being another great hit by McFarlane Toys. But uh, let's get to the review and see what you guys think. 
And if you have any comments, please leave them below and let me know what your thoughts are. And we'll go, go to it from there. All right, thanks a lot. All right, there is the box, how it comes. You've got the traditional McFarlane size action figure box. It's got the Spawn logo on the bottom, the Haunt name on the bottom right, on the upper corner, 14 plus. Not a toy, but of course, we all know it secretly is a wonderful toy. And then uh, McFarlane Toys in the upper right corner through the plastic and viewing window with the light coming in from above, you get to see all the wondrous joy that is the action figure that is Haunt. On the side, you get more logo of Spawn, McFarlane Toys, and more light being let in to show you, uh, show you the wonderful uh, Haunt character. On the back, you get a really cool splash of the Haunt character. To upper corner, you get Spawn name and uh, Haunt name again. 22 moving parts. Then some uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, at McFarland Toys, McFarland Toys, then Made in China, and then a P.O. box for Tempe, Arizona. But a uh, really cool splash art of uh, the Haunt character done by McFarland. You get the same splash on the side art. This one's all covered up, but the splash, and then you get the Spawn logo at the top. Very cool. I really like that art. On the bottom, basically some legalese. It's uh, photos of the action figure prototypes, uh, but we actually don't get those prototypes. We just get uh, pictures of the the action figure. More legalese, a barcode, um, then a number that shows made in China, some uh, recycling things. Um, is there any warnings here? Made in China, made in China. Um, all rights reserved. And on this top, it's just the window box looking down in. And that is the box that is the Haunt action figure box. Now let's get this bad boy open and get him out of his plastic prison. All right. There he is out of his plastic prison. Free. And his accessories, what the character comes with. It's like a ectoplasm kind of display piece. An ectoplasmic kind of energy burst. Or ectoplasmic burst. Two extra hand pieces. A spawn base for the spawn line and the character himself. So let's get into the articulation and see how he handles up or hand, stands up to other figures for different action figure lines. All right. <clears throat> All right, so first he's got the butterfly shoulders, as you can see, which is kind of cool, but it's a um, little different. It's got the gray underneath, so it doesn't go to the black at some point, so that can be a little distracting. But other than that, full, full circular movement. He's got the bicep swivel at the bicep there. He's got the bend at the elbow. He's got a swivel at the wrist and spin at the wrist. He's got these little ectoplasms on both arms. The same thing on each arm, bicep swivel. He's got the bend at the elbow, swivel at the wrist for his head. You can see oh, sorry, I haven't really messed with this there you go. You can see that far down and you can see that far up. So down, up, down, up, down, up. 
So not the greatest, but he can do a decent amount of tilt and side to side. It's not the, the worst. He's got a decent rocker at the the torso or the abs. Another one at the, the waist. But the only thing I did notice is at the back side of him, you've got kind of a, a gap there. You don't know if you can see it here. It's a bit of a gap there above his tailbone. But it's kind of not very noticeable because of uh, the black. Then for his legs, he can do the splits better than, I'd say, probably most Spider-Man action figures or like uh, ninja action figures. He's got bendable knees. He's got a roller ball joint at the ankle. He's got a toe bend, more the ectoplasm spiritual goo there around the ankle. Same thing on the other leg. Bend at the D, roller, and ectoplasm at the ankle. Let's see if he can, how high up he can bend. Oh, you can almost, yeah, he can actually practically, yeah, his toes can kiss his back. That's pretty impressive. And, uh, probably get this guy in some pretty crazy poses I'll work on that afterwards but um that's pretty cool so he's definitely got some range of movement with this uh, the posability on him um, they don't really show much what you can do with this piece I'm assuming it's just a display piece like you you stand him around it or something or maybe there's a peg so maybe you stand him. No, that's going to be too wide, I think, for his foot peg, but maybe not. It does look too wide, but yeah, that's too wide. I don't think he's meant to stand there like, like he was jumping off it or something, but I don't know. But the two hand pieces can swap on. This one's like a ghostly bah, grabbing hand don't know if you can make that out like a come on zoom in or get the detail right i don't know if it's getting it but it's kind of got some nice whoop. it's like a nice detail on that like a grasping claw and then that's for the left hand and then for the the right hand it's uh to me it almost looks like a hand outstretched in pain like uh, kind of a thing and each one has ectoplasm kind of shooting off the fingertips so that's kind of a different touch than the one that comes on the figure and then the the one itself, I think, is meant to just wrap around his wrist, kind of a thing, like so. Let me get it on there, and I'll show you. As of course, I might not be smart enough for this. The toy might be smarter than I am. As you're seeing me being outsmarted by a toy. You know, something like, bah, and he shoots this out to impale someone. It is kind of a, a gory book as he does a lot of things and impales people with his ectoplasm, similar to the book where he, uh, as you can see, where he's made a blade out of his ectoplasm, and he would just use that stuff to impale people, things like that. It's, it's pretty cool. But let me uh, try to get this guy into a pose and see what we think of it. 
So here's a uh, pose I was pretty happy with. I mean, it's not the greatest, but I'm not the greatest action figure poser. I'm trying to learn and get better at it. I mean, my goal is to become an action figure poser and uh, photographer. And that's one of the reasons I started doing this, this hobby this year is to just try and get out there and learn a bit more about YouTubing and the um, action figure world, the hobby world, and to try and dip my toes in it. My one big goal for the year was to to learn more about action figures. I want to learn how to pose them more, and I want to get into action figure photography. I think that seems like a really neat hobby. But um, some of the guys that pose their action figures, I don't know how they can do it. They can take a most basic action figure with not even like 10 points of articulation and just make them look amazing. But um, I thought this was a decent pose to come up with, like he's summoning some ectoplasm. He's uh, looking at his target and just shooting a goo off at him. But uh, all in all, I thought this was a pretty cool action figure. I mean, he's got a lot of articulation, really neat design. Um, it holds up the way he looked in the comic. The, uh, the look, the accessories are cool. I do like the little extra piece of the ectoplasm, kind of like a little base for him. And it doesn't really do much for it, but it, I thought it was kind of cool. And then I really like the one where he's shooting it off. I, 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 I kind of blends into the action figure, but it would have been a little easier or nicer if it was a little more, uh, I guess, descriptive on how it worked. Because I struggled with trying to find a way to get it to sit on the action figure properly. But um, all in all, I'm, I'm actually very happy with this action figure. If you guys have Haunt in your collection or uh, any other Spawn McFarlane action figures in your collection, let me know what you thought of the character or what you think of this review and uh, see uh, if we agree. But all in all, I think uh, this Spawn McFarlane action figure is a really good, uh, really good design. And... Uh, I'm happy to add into my collection, and I, I think I'm going to mess with them a little bit more and try to come up with more poses for them. But thank you very much for tuning in and watching if you're here today. If you don't mind, please, uh, if you enjoyed the time you were here, please give my uh, video a like. And if you don't mind, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I wouldn't mind if you wanted to let your friends know about it. I uh, just want to keep deciding if I'm going to keep going for the next year or not, or if I'm going to try and do more or make it a more of a regular thing. I don't know. I'm just trying to decide. But uh, I am enjoying the th when I get to talk and hear back from you guys. It's kind of grown on me with other channels when I talk to them. But all in all, it's something I'm trying to learn more from. But thanks for being here. And uh, I guess a message that would probably be pretty uh, in, in, in ab or going along with uh, the uh, haunt storyline with the priest. If you're going through a dark time and you feel like you just can't or you don't have anybody to talk to, no matter what, don't give up. Don't turn to the darkness. Turn to the light. There are people that do care about you that won't give up on you. Just reach out and try to talk to somebody. Don't, don't, just give up. I mean, there are people that do care about you, that will be there for you. And uh, just try to talk to somebody if you're going through something like that. Let them know what you're dealing with and just just get it off your chest. Talk it out. Deal with it. And when you get it out and just in the open, sometimes just talking about it can just make it feel a lot better and make it, the problem seem a lot smaller than it was originally. And it's a little bit more easy to deal with. But uh, just don't turn to the darkness. Always, always turn to the light. All right, well, have a great night. Thanks for tuning in and uh, looking forward to October. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or anything you'd like me to do for October, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I look forward to talking to you guys and seeing you more. But uh, have a great fall and uh, see you on the next video. Take care and God bless, guys. Nutty Buckeye out. Peace.